Okay, uh, we're going to do an UberPost demo here. Uh, talk a little bit about the hardware first. You can find uh, the hardware online uh, right up on it at uberpost.com. Got a Star TSP100 series receipt printer, and we've got a uh, cash drawer, AGP cash drawer, down under the counter, plugged into the drawer kick on the receipt print printer. So when the receipts print, the drawer kicks. And we've just got a cheap uh, POSIX hand scanner for reading the uh, UPCs. Go ahead and log in. I actually made a uh, login on a barcode for me. Logging into a Drupal site here that manages the store. So the store has a catalog. An Uber cart catalog, and we've entered in a bunch of products. Uh, we've got some desktop parts, uh, hard drives, and we're using the uh, we're using the UPC as the SKU when we add a product in into Uber cart, and the uh, POS system takes that SKU as input, scanned off of the barcode of the product and uh, rings up the product in POS mode. So let's go ahead and add a product. Go to node, add product. And uh, for a demo product today, we're going to add this uh, little gangrene guy here. So we'll go ahead and uh, give this product a name. And uh, since this is Ubercart, you can open port 80 right to uh, your um, web server and also at the same time have an online store as a POS, uh, as well as a POS. It's got a few wrinkles that need to be ironed out, but we'll get there. Um, this I'm just going to classify as, uh, put it in the catalog. Well, I guess we've got a giant microbes catalog here. You can go ahead and put that skew in. Okay, keep entering in the form. Uh, the price on this is seven ninety five. Five. The product is shippable. So we'll just say it's two. Save. All right, and so we have a uh, gangrene giant micro for $7.95 and the proper SKU. Now let's say a customer comes in, wants to buy this. They throw this up on the counter here. Um, we just enter into POS mode at admin store POS. This is the interface. Um, we have some digits for entering in uh, dollar amounts. If this were a touch screen, it would be a touch screen interface. So I'm just going to use a mouse. Um, we have an uh, enter command, also good for a touch screen, but you can use enter on the keyboard. Uh, cash is going to enter in the capital C, capital A command. Credit also has a command. You can find these commands in uberpost.com if you want to just use a keyboard or use a programmable keyboard that will turn those uh, multiple character commands into single buttons. Um, clear to clear an error screen or clear the, uh, out, of the, out of a completed order or cancel to cancel an order altogether. Um, so now customer brings this up and wants to buy it. Uh, the text field here for input is uh, auto selected and we use the hand scanner to input the barcode in. You see right there, gang green for $7.99 shows up. Uh, if we want to do, say they want to buy two of these, um, you can do uh, two times gang green, and you have two times gang green for $15.90. Now, since they got two instead of one, you can go up, up and down with the arrows. Or up and down with the up and down touchscreen buttons, 
and we can just void out that single one. Removes it from the order. So now they're going to get two of these. And uh, let's say they want to get something else, uh, maybe some mints. Um, and let's also say that uh, these mints haven't been entered into the POS for some reason. Cashier scans them, invalid UPC. Uh, got to clear out of that. So what are they going to do? They've got to do what's called an open ring. Um, I've put down here a little cheat sheet for the cashier uh, for open rings and the uh, uh, taxonomy class for this particular item I'm going to say is geek stuff and that's 26 so to do an open ring you're going to put in the amount which we know here is uh, 199 oh, decimal 199 00 oh, nope that's $199 199 is the amount and then you enter the department and the uh, taxonomy ID from the catalog in our case, Geek Stuff is uh, 26. So we just did an open, we're doing an open ring to the Geek Stuff department for $1.99. Uh, total is figuring in down here. And so they're going to buy these two things, two of these. All right. And, um, oh, let's say also that uh, they know. Um, their user number, they're a member here, and for some reason maybe members get discounts or something like that, or you just want to attach this order to a particular member so they can log in uh, later online and, and print an invoice or something. Uh, that's going to be, you enter in their member ID, which is also their user ID, hit the member button. There's also an equivalent command, and you can see this gets attached to Kelly. Um, that's my second user ID on the uh, on this particular website, um, and uh, then they can go ahead and pay for this. Um, let's just say that they give us a twenty twenty dollars in cash. Hit the cash button. You can see the change due is a dollar twelve. Print receipt pops right up. We just say okay, print receipt. Um, Drawer kicks, receipt prints, uh, do changes on there. It's dollar twelve. You take the dollar twelve out of the drawer, um, hand over the receipt, hand over the change. They're good to go. Clear the order, and you're ready to ring up something else.